In this question, we're asked to write a short segment of code that will take this given variable z, which is shown as the 32 bits from a0 up to a31, and produce the variable y, which has a subset of those bits along with some zeros. And so in order to accomplish this, we need to do um, some bitwise logical and or shifting operations. So we can see that a number of the bits of our original answer are being destroyed. So we're losing the top, in this case, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're losing the top six characters, and we're losing from nine down to zero. So we're losing the bottom 10 characters. And then we count the zeros here, and we see that there's seven zeros at the bottom, and there's nine zeros at the top. And so we can do this in one of two orders. We can first mask off the bits that we're losing and then shift because you can see that not only are we losing bits, but we, we need a shift because there was 10 things below A10 before and now there's only seven. So we need to shift and in particular, we need to shift by three bits. So we could do the masking first to throw things away and then do the shift or we could do the shift first followed by the masking. So I'll show it both ways. So we're starting with the value z, and if we want to do the masking first, the way we do masking is with the bitwise and operator. And so we want to throw away the top six characters. So I'm going to mask this with a hexadecimal thing where the top four bits is zero, and then I need a hexadecimal character for these four bits and I want to get rid of these ones I want those to be zeros and I want these ones to be ones and so I need a three for that position then I need a series of F's because I want to preserve all of these bits so I want all of these bits to be one in my mask so there's one F there's another F there's another F and then I have a pattern of 1100. Zero, zero. That turns out to be a C. Let me translate these down. So here are my three Fs. 1100 zero, zero is a C character. And then I have two hexadecimal characters that need to be all zeros because these represent bits that we want to lose. So we're going to mask, we're first going to mask Z with um, hex 3FFFC00. Zero, zero. This, writing this zero isn't necessary, but I do that just because then I have a full 32-bit mask and it's easier for a reader to see, oh, I'm gonna lose the top six bits off this. So I've done my masking and now I can complete my shifting. And so I could shift this by three bits. So that's one way I could do it, is I could do the masking followed by the shifting. Alternatively, I could do the shifting first, and then I could do the masking. But if I do that, then I need to take nine bits off the top. So that's gonna be two hexadecimal zero characters followed by a pattern of 0, 1, 1, 1, so that's gonna be a seven. And then I'm gonna have, again, a series of three Fs, followed by the pattern of one, zero, 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 so that's the eight in hexadecimal, and a zero. So that's an alternative strategy which accomplishes the same thing. So I could shift first and then mask off the bits that I want to keep.